Selamat datang di channel Mini Gold Atambua. Perkenalkan, nama saya Wiwi Muti, sebagai distributor resmi Mini Gold, emas logam mulia 24 karat. Di channel ini Anda bisa dapatkan informasi dan edukasi mengenai emas, Mini Gold dan keuangan. Juga Anda bisa dapatkan postingan quote positif, motivasi diri serta cerita dari Atambua, kota perbatasan. Semoga bermanfaat. Mohon dukungan dengan like, komen dan subscribe channel ini, agar saya semakin semangat berkarya. Bagi yang sudah like, komen dan subscribe, saya ucapkan terima kasih. Semoga kita semua selalu dalam lindungan Tuhan. I don't really like risk for risk's sake or, or anything. It's and I, and I do think that um, a lot of things are are very risky uh, with a low chance of success. But if you want to try to come up with an innovative breakthrough, um, that's kind of that's going to be how it is. Um, anything which, which is significantly innovative is going to come with a significant risk of failure. Um, and um, but you know, if you, you've got to take big chances in order for the potential for a big positive outcome. Um, and um, you know, just if, and if, if I mean, if, if the outcome is exciting enough, then then taking a big risk is worthwhile. Yeah. It's really how I approach it. But with, but then once executing down a path, I actually do my absolute best to reduce uh, risk, you know, because, or, or to improve the, another way of saying it, to improve the probability of success, because uh, when you try to do something that is very, um, very risky, uh, that you, ha you, you have to spend a lot of effort trying to reduce that risk yeah. as you embark down that path. I mean, when, um, when I started SpaceX, the, I thought the odds of success were very low. Um, I thought we'd most likely fail. Um, but I thought, well, we should give it a try, nonetheless. It, it certainly, it, there are times when you know, things don't go well, and then uh, that's quite dispiriting, for sure. Um, and so then it's, it's difficult to proceed with the same level of enthusiasm. Um, but um, but I do think, like, I do think the things that we're doing are, are you know, pretty important to the future um, and if we don't succeed then you know there's well there's, there's not it's not clear what other things would succeed um, and if, if we don't succeed then we will be certainly pointed to as a reason why people shouldn't even try for these things so uh, I think it's important that we do whatever is necessary to Um, well, I think it's important to um, have a, a very, um, to, to apply critical thinking to, this may sound trite, but to apply critical critical thinking to what, what one is doing. Um, and um, by, by that I mean just 
um, the fundamentals of logic, you know, of, of um, do you have the right axioms, um, are they relevant, and are you making the right conclusions based on those, on those axioms. That, that's the essence of critical thinking, and yet it is amazing how often people fail to do that. Um, w I think wishful thinking is uh, innate uh, in the human brain. Um, you, you, you want things to be the way you, you, you wish them to be, and so you tend to filter uh, information that you shouldn't filter. Um, that's the most common flaw that I see. Um, and then I also tend to see uh, that, that people, instead of um, reasoning from first principles, they, tend, they will tend to uh, act in a manner, uh, they, they will they'll do things because others are doing them because there is a trend. You know, they just see everyone going that direction, so they think that must be a good direction to go. Um, which, which is sometimes correct, but then sometimes, you know, you're, you're going to run off a cliff or something. Um, so it's, it's much better to, to really look at things from, you know, as more would say in physics, from a first principle standpoint. What, what are the fundamental truths, or the most fundamental truths in an arena? and uh, what, what can you, any conclusions logic that you come to must be derived from those fundamental truths. If, if you want to do something really innovative, you have to apply a sort of first principles analysis, not, not, and don't, don't reason by analogy. Analogies are, are, are referencing the past. Um, it, it, so you, first principles means you, you, you look at the most fundamental truths in, in a particular arena, uh, uh, and, and the things that really are almost indisputably correct um, and you reason up from there to a conclusion um, and, it, and if, you, if you see that that conclusion is at, is at odds with with what people generally believe then you have an opportunity um, now you can't operate like that on all things because it takes too much mental horsepower so most of your life you have to operate by reasoning by analogy but if you really want to innovate you must reason for first principles to identify the problem